I'm inside the NASA Ames Research Center in Mountain View, inside one of their simulator labs, and here it is, their state-of-the-art, super high-tech 747 flight simulator. Um, the four engines in this plane are all controlled by these throttles. Matt Gregory is a pilot and helps run this simulator, which is so lifelike. All the buttons, the instruments, it's identical to a real 747 cockpit. The video screens offer a full 180 degree view. This is the ultimate virtual reality experience. The simulator is on these giant legs that give it a six degrees of motion, freedom, climbing, descending, turbulence. You feel it all. We're, we're here to help uh, develop research and understanding uh, just about anything that flies in uh, airspace. We work with people and companies and uh, government entities that are doing research to make the air traffic system safer, more efficient. Do things with this simulator that you wouldn't necessarily want to do in a real airplane real time. And we do that again to, to gather data through research so that the actual operation of a real 747 will be more safe, more efficient, and then develop the application so that it can be taken over by uh, the industry, the airlines, the Boeings, and those kind of people, and put to better use in the commercial market. Mom, I'm flying a 747! But not that well. Several times I let my attention fade and put the aircraft in danger. I think we're going down too fast. Bring it back. Oh no. I'll tell you what that is in a second. Okay. So that's a stick shaker warning you of an approaching stall. It feels so real, and the water's under us. Ah! Before we did the bay flyover, he wanted me to try a landing. Ah, oh, evacuate SFO! So bring your nose up there just a bit. It's one of the scarier things for rookies, so it could help build my confidence. Pick the worst day to quit coffee. <laughs> that's from Airplane, remember Leslie yeah, Nielsen? Yeah. It was terrifying. See, that's when you want to bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, yeah. oh and you try to do it smooth. Ah! <laughs> And that left ah! pedal, a little bit of ah! left pedal. What do I do? <laughs> You're Coming good. in hot. Back on the runway, Matt showed me how they change it from day to night with a switch of a button. Oh man, Isn't pilots fly in this? Yeah. They can recreate any weather condition. A super windy storm, rain, hail, lightning. But what really shocked me is how pilots fly in the fog or cloud cover. It's just a solid gray color. You see nothing. Completely dependent on the instruments to keep you safe. Yeah. That's terrifying. <laughs> what? Oh, anything could come flying out of there. Let's hope it's not foggy this Fleet Week, because the 747 low flyover is dangerous enough with perfect weather. No margin for error. They fly right near two big cities with tall buildings, bridges, thousands of people out on the bay and lining the shore to watch. Yeah, for them to fly it around Fleet Week, it's, it's pretty impressive to see. The pilot who pulls this off will practice in a simulator just like this many times before attempting the real stunt. I see it. I see the Golden Gate Bridge. Matt plotted the actual flight path of that 747 flyby through the bay and then gave me the controls. We're about to cross over Golden Gate Bridge. That's a lot of pressure to not take that out like every Hollywood movie has. Yep. Shame on them. Okay, here we go, holding her steady. Oh, it goes fast. Okay, we're over Golden Gate Bridge. We're approaching Alcatraz. Chrissy Field is off to the right. That's the million of people are cheering me on. The Bay Bridge ahead, Treasure Island. There's all the buildings of San Francisco. Oh Lord, we could do some serious damage if you didn't do this right, yeah? Look at that, it goes so fast. So I pulled it off with a lot of Matt's help. The simulator was stressful enough, I can't imagine the pressure on the person doing the real thing. I now have much more appreciation of what these pilots do for us, giving us this amazing Fleet Week air show. Gabe Slate, Front 4 News.